Good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on a cold August 27th, 2018. Stories, reports coming out. The Foothills, Banff, Canmore, Kananaskis, all receiving a lot of snow over the last 24 hours. As I posted in my last video, early winter is here. Reports of snow even in BC in July. But here we are, near freezing temps on Tuesday morning. I went outside for a walk today. I had my hoodie on and my leather jacket. And it still took 10 minutes for my hands to warm up after I got home. It's a blistery cold north wind. Pattern will not change as winter is here. So yeah, crazy photos coming out, early ski season, and early treacherous driving seasons. So here we're just looking at the, the satellite imagery, this is from last night, and you can see the snow falling just 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers west of Calgary, and south of Calgary, as that low pressure came from the north straight from Alaska on the back side of that low there are some cold winds so stay aware and prepared folks and please if you see anybody help that needs help out there on the streets lend a hand wherever you can this is gonna be a long cold winter and there's no reason for anybody to be on the streets homeless so please give where you can God bless you all. Thanks for watching today. So yes, that was the satellite imagery overlooking Alberta as the snow is moving in. Pictures coming out of Canmore, Kananaskis, and Banff areas. Looking at the five day forecast, as I said, not much is gonna change as there is another low pressure system coming in from the north. Now all these low pressure systems have really helped dampen the fires in BC but those fires in BC have also triggered a heat wave along the east coast so as we have that large low pressure come from the west straight across Ontario you're gonna see a lot of thunderstorms popping up throughout Ontario and a lot of rain over the next few days Alberta we need moisture and we're getting some but really not enough BC definitely did get enough help dampen those fires a lot of warnings have been lifted looking across the West Pacific now cool temperatures as well straight down to South Korea as those two twin typhoons have finally joined forces and headed east. And we've got Hurricane Lane reforming into a category two heading northwest. Into two high pressure blockade. It's, it's, it's very interesting in our skies right now today, folks. And thanks for staying aware and prepared. This is Hurricane Miriam following the same track as Lane and then another tropical depression forming still unnamed it is an area of interest right now that large low pressure system spinning throughout southeastern parts of Australia and New Zealand that second wave has come through and there's still more coming in as that just large low pressure system after system developing in the southern hemisphere and those winds are getting really really tight and look at that long line of moisture in between the low pressure and the high pressure atmospheric rivers you think we saw some last year wait till we see them this year they're gonna be like octopus legs straight across our planet grand solar minimum
watching possible as i said like it's been very quiet atlantic storm season i was maybe thinking we had a low pressure developing but that high pressure in the atlantic ocean is just way too prominent and dominant right now totally smashing any low pressure system that develops off africa but yeah the big story is cold weather heading in and looking over the northern hemisphere you can see that large low pressure system sitting right over the north pole and as that ramps up that will be heading south towards the hudson's bay locking in winter that's my prediction winter is here so get the shovels get the toots get your bits out it's time to layer up in calgary alberta but yeah, going over the Pacific Disaster Center, you can see on the East Coast, we've got a heat wave for the last few days. Warnings in Newfoundland. And we have snow, of course, falling in Canmore. No more uh, warnings for the BC forest fires. Tropical Storm Miriam, Tropical Storm Lane. And wow, they're almost through the alphabet in the Pacific. Tropical Depression 25. overlooking the rest of the world interesting earthquake 5.0 in Pakistan west southwest of Pakistan and of course the 6.0 in Iran yesterday extreme cold in Peru or sorry Bolivia my bad You know, but going through our long list here of d disasters from around the world, we're mostly looking at floods, storms, forest fires, typhoons, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Those are all some pretty major disastrous things that are happening around the world frequently now, more frequently and more diverse places. Overlooking the earthquakes here, this is the last 24 hours. It has quieted down a little bit, but we're expecting another coronal hole stream affecting Earth, as well as some solar energy from a plasma ejection. A lot of minor rumbles, Cascadia fault line, Alaska, and the San Andreas fault line, 2.5s. Also getting some minor activity back in Kilauea. So stay aware and prepared, folks. Thanks for watching today. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay young and have fun. But most of all, Stay aware and prepared. Thanks for watching. God bless you all. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.